Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of New House, same address. Hey, hey. I'm joined with uh, Eric and Karis again. That's right. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so. Um, <laughs> did you guys like that noise? I heard great. you heard it loud and clear. Um, Radio etiquette 101. No slurping. Oh, what's wrong? Gulping. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> um, here's the deal. <laughs> what's the what's the icebreaker question of the day? Oh yeah, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? I think we've done this one before. Have we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite? Um, let's do this. Fruit. You haven't done that one. I know for a fact. Hmm. Please don't tell me peach. No. I'm gonna go with strawberries. Okay, it's a good one. Hmm. Hard choice, but that's probably what I'll go with. Yep. Hmm. I don't know. Yes, you do. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? You're like, I love this fruit. I can eat it every day. <laughs> um. <laughs> Pomegranate. <laughs> cherries. No. Ooh, cherries are good. Cherries are really good. Mm. Yeah, I think strawberries are a little sour for me. If, if I had candy. to choose between tra- cherries and strawberries, I'd eat cherries. They're a little bit sweeter. Like, actually sweet. Mm. But no. strawberries were so good on other things. That's true. That Chocolate, true. whipped Cheesecake. cream, che- yeah. Yeah. yeah, crackers. I mean. Yeah. I don't know. We don't ever. I buy <laughs> strawberries a couple times a year, obviously, during, like, strawberry season. But then cherries, we always, I guess, because they're also, that's the season for them. Are always when we're at the beach on vacation, I get, and we spend a buku of money on Yeah, cherries. they're expensive. They're very expensive. Oh, but yeah. And we sit there and, like. <laughs> The kids love them, so our by the end of the day, our tent is surrounded by like cherry pits. <laughs> yep. You guys oh get God. yours nuts or nutless? Well, they come with pits. Pits. Oh, is that what they're called? Inside. Inside. Yes, they're I thought called they were nuts. Pits. No. Yeah. Or they you just throw that on the ground and plants a cherry tree, or is it a cherry I bush? Think also, maybe they're called stones in a cherry. I'm not, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't. Yeah. I just know you don't eat that part. So what's your favorite? <laughs> um, I would probably say... Watermelon. My... Oh, see, it's hard. It's so hard to pick. <laughs> like, does. during the summer, <laughs> a good watermelon you like. is like... You can't beat it. You can't beat a good well, watermelon. Well, fruit summer. is Water's seasonal. Hot. What so about like, pineapple? Yep. I love pineapple. Grilled, I will say that. grilled oh, pineapple oh, on a shish kebab. Yep. Oh, come on, baby, with some steak and some bell peppers. God, that sounds good right I now. like all of them. Okay. Mushrooms. Oh, that's and a onions. good idea for lunches for next week. I should do that. Um, I'll pay you to make me some. <clears throat> no thanks. I'm making up. What's lunches. your favorite fruit, Justin? Since Karen's banana, hundred percent would be. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it would be? Banana? Come on. I'm talking banana I, split, son. This is disgusting. I'm talking I, banana cream I've pie. Never, I've never liked them. Banana pudding. You don't like bananas? Eric also doesn't like like things like mashed potatoes. Oh, that was when I was a kid. Yeah, you'll eat them now, but because oh, yeah. I like force you to eat them. Oh, no, I love mashed potatoes. You know what I say about bananas? The more bruised, the better. Mm. Nope. Mm-mm. Um. Yeah, they're when they're ripe and green, they taste a little weird. But no, bananas just like a perfect yellow banana. Oh my gosh! Is the texture for me? Just, we we can't mm-hmm. keep them around at my house because I'll eat one every day in the morning. And I really like it for the potassium and stuff, but it's just whew, peanut. I mean, peanut butter, banana, honey. Mm. Yeah, see, I just don't get excited about that. Mm-mm. I do, uh, but there are a lot of good fruits. This is a good. This is a good point. I do like watermelon and pineapple. I like pineapple on my pizza, not with Canadian bacon, but I do like pineapple. Mm. Interesting. Okay, I mean, you so you got what blueberries, blackberries, oh, raspberries. Yeah. I mean, it's just I forgot like, berries too. Like, well, oh. yeah, yeah. Hmm. What's your favorite berry then? Mine's blueberry, 100%. I would say, for me, apples are kind of towards the bottom of the list. You don't like apples? No big apple guy? As a favorite berry? No. Fruit. Fruit. <laughs> this is random. We can just jump all over the place uh, okay. if we want to. <laughs> okay. Because that was random. Uh, if plantains count. Karis likes passion fruit. That's hers. <laughs> she likes passion <laughs> fruit. Dragon fruit. Kiwis. Um. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> mm. I know. I got a friend that um, kiwi will kill him. What? Mm. Allergic. He has an allergy to kiwi. I've never heard of that. Uh huh. It's a true mm-hmm. story. Could huh. be a she. Also true. Um, I don't remember who it is off the top of my head. I can't remember. 
just, so you, shout you out to whoever it is. To, I just, <laughs> no, I, just I know it's someone. I know a lot of people with allergies, but it's someone. Yeah, someone I know. <laughs> Plantains. I think they're right up there with my bananas. Well, yeah, very they similar. Should be. <laughs> they're very similar. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, apples no. are okay. What about grapes? Yeah, yeah, see, see, we like those too. White or we're white or purple? Red, red. I mean, um, I'm I like them both. red. I like red mm-hmm. way better than, than green. You ever had the? Can't uh, keep those at our house. The cotton candy grapes. I've heard about those. those no, no, I've not. They're super sweet and they're giant. Yeah, oh, do they actually taste like cotton candy? Sort yeah. of. They're good. They're good. I, I wouldn't yeah. say cotton candy comes to mind, but I don't know. Ethan. Yeah, I've got a couple of things to do with Ethan this summer that I think he'll enjoy. Because if you can dip grapes in like lime jello, they're supposed to taste like Sour Patch Kids. I think Ethan would love doing like that. just the powder. Mm-hmm. You just dip it in the powder. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah. Pro- okay. I thought you meant like just lime jello. <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> grapes in your jello. <laughs> <laughs> That Go sounds very 1980s. Sounds like fruitcake or something. <laughs> you know what? Jello oh, is I a remember, genius invention. Uh, yeah. Mm. Except for the 70s when they did everything in jello. That was gross. And I didn't, I wasn't alive in the 70s. I was like some about people. I'm I don't perfect. like jello. Jello sucks, but I'm talking about the actual consistency of it. It's mm. pretty cool. Gelatin, it's like its own category. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. How about okay. let's move on? Yes. Enough of that. Well, let's get into <laughs> the actual topic of today. We're going to talk about wet wall, everybody. Wet wall. <laughs> Look at this wet wall. <laughs> this is launching at Ozark Home Pros. I mean, this is already a company, but we are now offering it. This stuff is amazing. I told Eric I wanted to talk about it. <clears throat> I think... It's the prettiest thing we have, personally. Besides me. <laughs> wow. Okay. But uh, look no at this No comment. Stuff. What is in that water? <laughs> Drugs. Look at this. This is Tuscany marble, but there's a there's a lot of benefits, pros, to this. So let's let's start off a couple. Eric, yeah, let's dive wanna, in. Let's dive in. Tell us a little bit about it. First off. Well, I think the first thing, most obvious, is it's 100% waterproof. Okay. Which Important if would you're going to use it in your shower. Correct. Yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, so unlike tile or similar uh, products that are porous, that absorb moisture or water, mm-hmm. uh, this will not. It bounces right off of it. It's mm-hmm. good to know so. for a shower. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I mean, a lot of people don't understand that tile is just... It's, it's like a big sponge that sucks up all the water. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Which causes a lot of mold and mildew problems. <clears throat> yes, it does. Yes. Which is why we are in high demand. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Uh, the amount of uh, poorly installed towel showers we see is pathetic. Yes. With this comes a bunch of features and benefits. I'm just showing them. Mm. Um, <laughs> in front of my face. My bad. Well, I had to do it. So um, you can get, we can finish it out. With like a, a Schluter trim? Yeah, so... Or it has a bullnose radius. Yeah, it comes in panels, so yep. it's one piece for each wall of your sho- shower or right. tub, tub surround. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> any place you could think of using a panel, like for wainscoting or whatever, yep. it, it can be a good good option for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they have some that actually look like wainscoting. Um, we have wood grain, which I think is a very interesting choice to put on a shower wall. But they make it where you can mm-hmm. if yep. you wanted a wood lined shower or a wood look lined shower. Eric, but- what's this tongue for? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so that's how you join panels that are over, say, if it's if you need a piece that's bigger than 60 inches, which right. your normal shower is 60, 60 inches. So that is a method of putting the seam together that's waterproof and you can hardly see where the seam is. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it did a good job with that design. Oh, it's similar to like your uh, flooring that fits together. Yeah, like tongue, tongue and groove. Tongue and groove. Um, and the joint just sort of disappears once Ooh. you put it together. See? Yep. Yeah, there it good. is. Look, and you can barely see the seam. That's right. Especially with these linear lines on that. Yep. Yeah, the wood grain. Yeah. The, the wood, wood grain, grain really, yeah, really helps. So a couple things that they say about it. Scratch and scuff resistant Aon technology. What is Aon technology? Um, I don't know. It's trademarked. <laughs> We'd have to look it up. Aeon, did I say that right? I don't know. 
daring that many, designs. That many vowels together confuses me. <laughs> uh, patented waterproof panel system and it's antimicrobial. <laughs> antimicrobial. <laughs> yeah, I that's where your speak. Aeon system comes in. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. So it's uh, there's it's non-porous, so there's no place for all that soap scum and mildew to stick to and yeah. start growing. Yeah, but they've got beautiful stuff. Like so, most of their stuff that I've seen, they have a, a plain white one, but they've got a couple of different wood grain ones. This one is um, uh, what's oh lo- yeah, Legacy Ash. It's kind of grayish. I like it. Grayish. I think it's really pretty. And then they've got another one that's even uh, like more on the brown side. <laughs> then they've got some that are stone. They've got a gray one that looks exactly like uh, distressed concrete, mm-hmm. which looks really cool. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I'll have to look at that one for our bathroom. It's really cool. I thought about doing it. And right. then they've got some that just look like marble, you know? Um, it's hard to tell with this little piece, but on the whole course of the a wall, um, and most of these, which I really like when showing um, my clients, they have a picture on the back of them of what it looks like. They're a whole bathroom, typically, but yeah. specifically the shower, too. They say, yeah, they've got marble patterns. This one's gold etching, and it's very thin. Um, then they've got some that are thicker, like the Calcutta lines. You're talking about the, like veining. the veining. The veining, yes. The, veining. the yes, product yes. itself is the same thickness. Yeah, yeah. And it is the thickest one we have. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, I mean, at, at close to th- the 3 eighths? Mm-hmm. Yep. Three yeah, half inch. There's the core in the middle, and it's laminate on top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so if you're just listening, it's um, the wall panel itself is about a half inch thick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once you apply it. And um, so it's very rigid. Very rigid. Yeah. As they would say. Um, yeah. So they do walls. I don't know if they, if they do. Do they do any other accessories? I know they do not do bases, but that's okay. We have plenty we have of those. Bases. We have custom bases that we yeah. put them with. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That match. Yeah. You would use um, one of our uh, solid color bases. Yeah. Or tubs. Yep. And then use this for the wall. For the wall. Yep. That's awesome. So it comes with full. There's not a lot of accessories like a, a bench seat or something. Yeah. Uh, so you would have to use you feel these? one of our complimentary like colors or uh, designs for those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For those who are listening, it's textured as well. Now, do they all come textured, or do they come textured or smooth? I mean, because this one uh, is textured too, but it's a different texture. Yeah, they all come textured, unique to their own uh, design. So, like the marble ones will be like this, and the wood grain will feel like this. All of them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, that that was the best compliment I've seen out of some of these was I mean besides obviously the design it looks amazing but they really liked how this was textured and the other ones that I had weren't and so they were mm-hmm. like really like this one yeah it's got a first class look um, so with a uh, first class feel baby <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's so, so funny I don't know uh, I don't pretty know. easy to install if you have training oh yeah um doesn't require a lot of specialty tools or equipment Mm. Uh, just the know-how the knowledge so that's where we come into play because we know how to do it and uh install it correctly but um Mm -hmm. overall very very good product yeah we're excited to be able to offer it absolutely that's all i got you guys got anything else with that Check it out on our website or just call us and we'll I'll come show it to you. Yeah. That'd be even better. Yeah. We have samples here. Absolutely. See you later. We have company. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us on another episode of New House Sam Address. We'll talk to you in the next one.